Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something we know, something we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your eighth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. Easy to wait is the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments, does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchased Prime and Reads, the Extendeds, Buy Me A Coffee's donations. Keeps me able to do this, so thank you. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome, and all the information is in the description box below. Okay. Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. Two of Cups. I, I'm not comfortable with this Two of Cups, if I'm honest. Normally I am. But that's Six of Swords and Eight of Swords. It's as if you're headed into some sort of... Bind. Like um, an obsessive smothering energy. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past, advice, potential outcome. We have the King of Cups, the Chariot, the King of Swords, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Sun. Okay. Someone won't let you go. This is this could be somebody that you've tried to let go of. But somebody's not letting you go. Um, I don't know whether you need to have a, possibly a stern conversation here. But somebody's... Somebody really needs to... Um, uh, to let go. There's, there's, there's an obsessive uh, energy here. The devil's not here, but th th it feels like there's an obsessiveness here. This is somebody that's holding on tight and not letting go. In fact, um, I'm hearing, and thank you universe for ruining my reputation once again, um, Spice Girls, um, goodbye my friend. I know you're gone, you said you're gone, but I can still feel you here. Um, yeah, I know the lyrics. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying that, it, this could be something that you've ended, but somebody's energetically not letting go of you. What we're aware of is the Empress. Now, I'm kind of seeing the Empress as, as you, uh, and please don't get caught up in genders. Um, it's, it's the empathic, it's the kind, nurturing uh, energy. But I'm also seeing the flip of that where the, the mother is, it's the mother energy, it's very protective, it's very, it can be smothering. What we're not aware of is the seven of wands. This is somebody that's not letting go. This is somebody that's ready to, to fight for your approval of some kind. In the recent past is death. I mean, this is you, this is your card. However, this is an ending. And that's why I kind of feel like, goodbye, my friend. I know you've got, like you said you're gone, but I can still feel you here. This is... This is something that's kind of, um, yeah, really not letting go. Your advice is the Eight of Swords, is that you need to free yourself from this. This Ace of Swords here is uh, is freeing you. So this could be communication. This could be um, assessing whatever relationship this is. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be somebody that's just very, very smothering. Um, you know, the, the, the negative aspect of the King of Cups is somebody emotionally manipulative. Um, I almost want you to listen clearly, hear what's not being said, because I kind of feel like somebody, this could be a gaslighter, possibly, um, and I almost want you to listen to between the lines, okay? When you do, the outcome is the Ace of Cups, it frees you to 
explore new energies. This could be, this could be a lesson in boundaries for some of you. Um, and when you do this, when you free yourself from this energy, you open the opportunities for abundance to birth new ideas. Empress and the Ace of Cups can be literal birth. There could be pregnancies, but I, I kind of feel like it's more just birthing new energies into your life. We have got a very, very powerful shift that's coming up. We've got a new moon in Aries. Always feels like it's brand new. Aries is the first zodiac, it's like New Year's Day. So we've got a brand new new moon at zero degrees. At the end of April, we've also got a new moon in Aries again at its final degree. So this is kind of like new beginnings and endings that have to take place. So do be warned that something in your environment that is getting clingy and attached needs to be either breathing space provided or certainly um, boundaries set. Let's see where the Ace of Swords is, which is what you're cutting you away. of swords is where that six of swords which was where you're heading to that six to the eight that jumped earlier uh, but healing is taking place now um when you free yourself you move towards um major healing and i'm seeing that indefinitely in fact i'm also going to look at where the six of swords is in this deck because i feel like there's a message there because strangely enough there is the star card in it. <laughs> Look at that. Right, so we've got the two of cups, which is what the the whole situation is. This is somebody holding on tight. And the six of swords is with the two of cups in the hierophant. This is somebody that wants everything without giving everything. But if you notice there, you've got the star on the island above. You need to move away from whatever the energy this is. Um, and when you do, you create the freedom necessary to heal. This could be a smothering energy. If this isn't a person, this is um, maybe, a, everything is a mirror. You know, if somebody's obsessive with you, it might be mirroring how you've been obsessive in the past, possibly. Um, and then that's something that we need to learn and integrate. However, I think for the majority of you, you've tried to end something with somebody and they're not letting go. And I almost feel like there needs to be clear communication, concise communication, and honest, open truth. Look, I can't move on with my life if you're constantly engaging. And you send them away with unconditional love and, uh, and, and respect and just say, look, we're not growing at the same speed. We're not growing at the same level. Um, energetically, there is nothing more here. And again, that can be friendships, that can be romantic relationship. It can even be family as well. If this, this could be a situation that's just outgrown and the universe is, is wanting you to heal. And sometimes we need to take a step back and see a bigger picture to heal. Doesn't mean to say these people are out of your life forever. It just certainly means it it needs to happen at the moment, okay? In your extended, we will concentrate on what this beautiful energy that's coming in in the future is for you. Um, we will look at, um, we'll, we'll mirror this uh, this reading and we'll just more concentrate on the Ace of Cups. Okay, you could have in your chart or be dealing with, we have Venus in Cancer, Taurus, Libra, uh, tch -tch -tch, Mars in, yeah, Mars in Leo, I think. Scorpio, Jupiter in Ju Ju Jupiter in uh, Gemini. Cancer. Venus in Aries. Saturn in Taurus. Mars in Gemini. Leo. Mars in Cancer. Moon in Libra. Saturn in Pisces. Cups, swords, wands. Pentacles eventually. But everybody's here, those are your standouts. Okay.
take care, look after yourselves, and I shall see you next time.